On July 5, 1919, the first Canadian parachute jump was made here in Crystal Beach. Today, the town celebrates that amazing feat with Skyfest. Today, we are commemorating the 97th anniversary of the first Canadian parachute jump made here at Crystal Beach by Frank Ellis. We have an information booth telling about the aviation history in the Fort Erie area, which is quite amazing. Today we're doing a uh, water jump and we're commemorating Frank Ellis's jump. We have one person, Peter Chapman, who's going to be jumping an antique parachute. It's a delta wing parachute that was first designed here by the Irvin Air Chute Company right here in Fort Erie. Uh, he'll be jumping into the water with Nina Topic, who's the co-director of the Drummo Skydiving Team, along with myself and Ray Scott, who'll be jumping the Canadian flag banner, and he'll be landing here on the shore. He gets to keep his feet dry today. So take me back to that day in 1919. How did that first jump unfold? Wow, that's an amazing story. Uh, Leslie Irving from Irving Air Chutes was doing his test jumps on his parachutes here. Of course, all Americans were doing the jumps. Uh, Frank Ellis was part of a company that was giving rides to tourists here in a Curtis Jenny airplane, but also they were making money by dropping uh, Irving's uh, parachutist doing the test. Uh, one day they finished up late and this parachute was wet and Irving asked if the fellows could dry it out for him. He'd pick it up the next day. Of course, being aviators sitting underneath the wing of the aircraft, looking at the parachute drying in the tree perhaps or in the grass, you know we can do this too. So without any experience, they packed that parachute up and Frank had the luxury of being the first Canadian to make a parachute jump. Not one, but two, not to the amusement of Leslie Irvin the next day. Peter Chapman is one of today's skydivers. For his jump, he's relying on the exact same type of antique parachute that Frank Ellis used during his jump 97 years ago. Well, if the winds come down a little bit, I hope to be jumping an antique parachute for this uh, Crystal Beach Skyfest. How is jumping with an antique parachute different than jumping with a regular parachute? Uh, it's a lot slower. It will be a triangular parachute, not like the wing type parachutes, the Ram Air parachutes skydivers all use nowadays. What goes into preparing for a jump like this? Uh, we have to check out the site, have all sorts of crew on, on site, such as somebody uh, in a boat in the water, people to marshal people on the ground, and a uh, lot, lot of equipment to put together as well, if we want to have smoke so that people can see us better, things like that. And for the people watching the show, what will they be thinking as they see it going on? Well, they're, they're going to be amazed. Uh, first of all, people jumping out of the airplane. We're going to be using uh, smoke, uh, but we're also going to be using flour as a marker. And that's what some of the old barnstormers did. Instead of using smoke, we had used flour. And uh, that's, uh, that'll be a real treat. Uh, I'm going to be doing something called a, a candy cane, where I have a 30-foot uh, uh, chain with uh, smoke canisters on, uh, different colors. And I'll be doing about 21 spirals. Uh, in the air and giving a candy cane effect and that's a real treat for the for the kids. Uh, Peter Chapman with his uh, his parachute, this antique parachute, that's going to be a treat uh, and he's going to steer that into hopefully a pinpoint landing. Uh, we do it today by a, by a matter of uh, just routine uh, but the old guys used to do it as a matter of practice. He's going to demonstrate how they did it back in the old days. In all, four jumpers participated in today's Skyfest. In Crystal Beach, reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.